Hey guys, J Rock here with my Barry Game Exchange Game Grabs episode. Uh, so I got this oh, huge box full of stuff. This is full to the brim. Look, I can't even close this. Of stuff that I got from the Barry Game Exchange. It was an awesome time put on by my buddy Nintendo Hodge. Always a blast. Uh, and uh, held in Barry, as the name entails. My mom lives in Barry, so I get to visit my mom when I go up there. I spent the weekend there, hung out with my brothers. It was a great time. Uh, but before I start talking about the stuff I picked up while I was up there, I did pick up a couple games in town. Uh, I got Cruise in USA for N64. And Silent Scope for PS2. Okay, uh, so yeah, went up to visit uh, my, uh, my mom and uh, my brothers. And my one younger brother, I, uh, I threw a couple bucks his way, and he gave me his Wii U box for my Wii U because I got it loose, and now I have a box with manuals and everything. Right on. And uh, from my mother, she actually found these Ninja Turtle keychains. The Four Turtles, original cartoon style. So she got me those. What a mom. She knows what, she knows what I like. So yeah, and then uh, we went to EB Games uh, in Barrie. Uh, it didn't, when I go into EB Games, I don't usually find games because the prices aren't that great there. I find occasional good deal, but uh, what really caught my eye is I got sucked back into getting some Funkos. Uh, I kind of said I wasn't going to be getting Funkos, but they had GameStop exclusive Mega Man Funkos. Uh, Ice Slasher and Firestorm, and I know it's like the same exact mold, uh, just different colors. I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for Mega Man. Uh, so these two were exclusive for GameStop. And I was seeing a lot, I was seeing pretty crazy pricing going on on eBay for those and on Amazon. And uh, yeah, crazy. And also, I got Dr. Wily. Now they have Mega Man, Rush, and Proto Man in this set, but they didn't have that there. And if they did have it there, I think I would have succumbed and got the whole set. But uh, yeah, really happy to just pay retail for these and not get scalped. Because people are scalping these things, so if you can if you can get those exclusive ones, people are trying to get an arm and a leg. So yeah, the Barry Game Exchange, it was an awesome time. So many familiar faces, uh, tons of games, so many friends, it's always a blast. Uh, I have one thing here actually that I received from a friend, Ryan from RhinoVision. He gave me this print of Mega Man, who obviously has seen better days. He will jump and shoot for E. That's wonderful. So we'll just, I don't know, put that there. We'll put that there. Thanks, Ryan. He just, he just gave it to me out of the kindness of his heart. Uh, so, yeah, there was a, he's a member of the Cartridge Club, and there was a ton of Cartridge Club members there. My buddy Dean came out uh, from uh, Alberta. That's where he's from. And, uh, yeah, just overall blast hanging out with people i don't want to start getting into into naming off people but i did get photos with folks so i'll do a little montage of photos
bunch of good looking folks. Uh, so yeah, now I grabbed some Nintendo tapes, which I always love to do at these uh, at these events. Nice healthy stack of Nintendo games. Nintendo tapes. Okay, so let's start go th going through them. Got to the Earth. Michael Andretti's World Grand Prix. Not gonna lie, I did get some filler for the collection. So there is gonna be a bit of that, but I did get some good games. Uh, Mega Man 3, I picked this up for my buddy who uh, wants a copy of that. The Legend of Kage. Some people call it The Legend of Cage. I call it Kage because it looks, uh, you know, like Japanese. That's how they would pronounce that, I guess. T2. Terminator 2, Mickey's Safari in Letterland, every collection needs that, Sesame Street 123 with Astro Grover and Ernie's Magic Shapes, Wrestlemania, Abadox, Phantom Fighter, Jeopardy, an unlicensed game, Puzzle. Uh, this is one of the games that I grabbed from the, uh, the $5 bins. I uh, certainly don't want to pay more than that for this game, but I'm sort of a sucker for collecting some unlicensed stuff. It's kind of fun. Jeopardy 25th Anniversary Collection or whatever edition. Swords and Serpents. Predator. Always like getting uh, movie tie-in games. And Double Dare. So yeah, that's a whole bunch of Nintendo games that I didn't have for my collection. And I think that brings me to around 400, just about. Uh, I do have... One other thing here, my buddy, uh, Joel, I believe uh, J.M. Kenny something on Instagram, I can't remember what it is, but my buddy Joel, he, uh, who I met through Instagram first off, and then these swaps, he had a table there for the first time, uh, I bought a couple things there from him for my unlicensed Nintendo collection, B52. Uh, for PlayStation, Urban Chaos. Move this stuff back here. And uh, my first long box PlayStation 1 game, Revolution X, featuring Aerosmith. Music is the weapon. So that's pretty sweet. Thank you. Here, I'll put that there. Thank you to you, Joel. You hunk of a man. You're a good man. Thank you very much. Uh, so, got some other stuff here. See, I'm looking in this box of stuff. I don't even know what to talk about next now. Okay, I've been modding a lot of Xboxes, so I got like, I was looking at deals on controllers. Got a bunch of controllers for original Xboxes, because I've been modding them and selling them to folks for their kids and whatnot with emulators. So, I got a ton, even some third-party stuff that I got cheap. Here's a GameStop Xbox controller. I don't care, just something to, just something to put with these consoles I've been getting. Okay, what else? Ooh, for a PSP, a PSP UMD movie, and I don't like to buy these all the time, but certain movies certainly should owned for the PSP. Robocop, one of my favorite, favorite movies from the 80s. Ugh, oh, love it. And so now I can watch that on the go, wherever I want. I don't even know where to put this stuff, really. Put that there. I don't know. Uh, okay. Got some, uh, some other random goodness. In town, this wasn't actually at the Berry Game Exchange, but at a thrift store I found 
Namco Museum for GameCube. Yeah, found that in town. Now back to Barry Game Exchange stuff. I'm a big sucker for kart racing games, so for a few bucks I dropped on uh, M&M's Kart Racing there. We'll check that out. I uh, got a couple 360 games here. Got Tomb Raider and Minecraft, which cost me five dollars, and I, I never wanted to spend more than five dollars on Minecraft. Every time I've seen it, it's been twenty or whatever, and yeah, I'll check that out for five dollars. Now we're getting to the, the last little stack here, and because I got a new PS3, which is new to me, not entirely new. By the way, here's that box, all empty. Uh, yeah, so I got that PS3, and I went on the hunt, looking for exclusives. Whenever anybody saw me, they were like, oh, what do you, what have you been grabbing? Nintendo tapes and PS3 exclusives was my answer. So but let's start going through these PS3 goodies. Uh, Beyond, featuring Ellen Page and Willem Dafoe, a game I know nothing about. Folklore, uh, this was brought to my attention from an RF uh, Generation Playcast uh, episode that they did on this game. Featuring my friend Pam, Cannot Be Tamed, who was also at the event. Crazy. Uh, White Knight Chronicles International Edition. Heavy Rain. Infamous 2. God of War 3. Little Big Planet, which people rave about. Check it out, see what it's all about. Disgaea 3 Absence of Justice. And Little Big Planet Karting. So yeah, this was all my stuff that I got on my trip up to Barry uh, from the Barry Game Exchange and what have you and the rest of my travels. Uh, if you have a chance to get to one of these events, the Barry Game Exchange, you have to make it. Uh, I, I always come out with a big bag of goodies and, and people are like surprised that I'm carrying this big, huge, heavy bag. but. I love it. It's a blast to go hunting and find things that you're looking for. Uh, thank you very much to Nintendo Hodge, Chris, for putting this on, and his uh, friend Darby and their wives who do all the work to put this thing together. Uh, great to see all my friends. Like I said, I'm not going to start off shooting off names because I'm bound to forget people, but I did get a bunch of pictures that I showed earlier, so you know, hopefully I got a picture with you. If I didn't, next, next time, make sure we get a picture together. Uh, I wanted to thank my friend Bill from STC Pod. He hosted a barbecue for a bunch of us Cartridge Club members afterwards. Uh, had us had us all over to his house. So thank you very much. I stayed there till about 10 o'clock after the show. The show ended at four, so he had a, he had me over there for quite some time. And thank you for hosting us, buddy. That was a good time. For the ultimate best deal challenge, I've received a few videos so far from Miles. Flock of Nerds, Rage of Party Play Gaming, uh, Canadian Retro even submitted a video uh, for the Ultimate Best Deal Challenge, but it's not over yet, so I expect to have maybe some more show up. Uh, so stay tuned to hear about that winner in its own designated video. So guys, thank you very much for sticking with me and watching me talk about all this stuff here that I got for myself. So until next time, keep on rocking them games.
What does J-Rock think? I don't care what J-Rock thinks, honestly. Oh, J-Rock thinks that, that Kiss is the greatest band of all time.